Yo, what up guys? Welcome back to Sneaker Stories as always. I'm your host, Chris Jack. Today, checking out one of the more hyped releases for 2020. Of course, it is the Women's Air Jordan 4 collaboration with Off-White. So without further ado, let's check them out. All right, so first things first, huge shout out to Buy My Sneaker, which is of course a sneaker purchasing app where you can pick up all the latest hype releases from. You can check out buymysneaker.com and download the app from there, either on Google Play or of course the Apple Store as well. So shout out for you guys for setting these down. Don't know if I'm happy if you did or not, because I guess, I'm really happy to review them, but now I really, really want a pair myself. As this pair is a UK 7.5 or something like that, they are gonna to be too small for me to do on foot review for you guys today, so sorry about that, but biggest can't be choosers right now with shoes this big. So onto the review itself, this particular pair has been in the works for quite some time. There's been sort of leaked images of Jordan 4 collaborations with Off-White uh, from the MCA kind of uh, display that Virgil had with a whole bunch of different shoes there. And there was a different coloration of this, a men's version, which is apparently gonna be releasing a little bit later this year. It is still set for 2020, but no confirmed release date for those. Either way, that's gonna be insanely, insanely hyped. Uh, and difficult to get your hands on. But these were no different. Uh, this, the women's version, of course, so it only came in women's sizing, but kind of men's sizing as well because the size curve was quite big. But I've got to admit, having these in hand, as I mentioned earlier, really, really makes me want to get a pair. Uh, even if it is at resale, I know the prices are climbing quite drastically at the moment. I think anywhere between about $950 and about $1,400 at the moment, depending on size, of course. Obviously, the bigger sizes uh, are going to be the most expensive. So if you're anywhere sort of above an eight, uh, to around 10 or 11 or whatever it is. Uh, they are gonna be pretty expensive. Whether they're worth it, I guess you can find out from this review, but let me get into it itself. Starting with the outsole, of course, you've got this beautiful translucent off-white sort of sail color. That's obviously the predominant color in this particular shoe. Uh, two different material outputs there as well. And then you've got this kind of weird light teal minty green color here towards the toe section and on the Nike swoosh logo, which has been embossed onto that rear section of the shoe. And then the rest of the heads are just a sort of a lighter sort of eggy yellow uh, and then white, of course, as well. But they all work really well together. They're kind of these soft, sort of pastel tones. I don't know if that kind of plays into more of a woman's color palette. However, they're some of my favorite colors, so I don't think so. And then moving up into the midsole, those same sort of translucent yellowy colors transfer over up into there. However, you do have a hit of white here in the bubble and this rear section and the heel. Uh, that just kind of breaks up the sort of tonality uh, that's been going on with the up over here. I really like that hit there. Just above that, obviously in quotation marks, you've got the stereotypical uh, air logo over there, just signifying this as an off-right collaboration. And then moving into the upper. I'm going to start here in the toe box. You've got a bit of ballistics mesh here, also done in a very off-white. This is a little bit darker yellowy uh, color than I originally expected from the product photos. Uh, it really tones nicely here uh, with the upper of the shoe as well. Then the majority of the leather in here is this very, very, very short hair suede. I mean, it's very buttery. It's unbelievable, actually. And that's present here in the toe box, the midfoot, and then around the heel section of the shoe, uh, as you guys can see over here. And then you've got these translucent white eyelet stays over there, which are done in that sort of rubberized plastic. And then just swinging back to the toe box section over here, you've got this large great mesh done in that sort of white translucent material. And then the tongue itself is a mixture of all the different materials mentioned prior. So you've got the ballistics mesh over the jump mount flight logo over here, uh, which has just been stitched around there. The base layer of that is that beautiful suede leather. Uh, and then just the reverse of the tongue, uh, you've obviously got the inverted Air Jordan logo, which has been stitched in there. Uh, but the back of that is just an exposed sort of foam. Uh, and you can see the exposed foam just adding into the deconstructed look uh, that all of these off-white collaboration shoes uh, with Nike and Jordan, of course, have followed. Now swinging to the heel section of the shoe, one of my favorite features and something I'm really excited to see on some other releases coming out soon, like the COJP uh, Air Jordan 3s, is the use of a translucent heel tab over here with the Nike Air branding. Uh, this is very nice. It just kind of softens the whole shoe down. I don't know, it really plays into it for me and I really like that a lot. 
flipping into the sock liner section lots of exposed uh, mesh and foam going on here you can kind of see the layering effect that's gone in there with the multiple different layers so you've got the outer leather and then the foam sort of padding in the heel section and the sock liner material up there is also done in the mesh and that's done in the same sort of tonal off-white cream and just in case you're wondering where all that lettering is that you've seen in other off-white releases it's just on the medial side of the shoe underneath that large great grid over there uh, and just says off-white for Nike, uh, Air Jordan 4, uh, Beaverton, Oregon, C 1989, I think it is. It might be 1980, can't really see it, but I'm pretty sure 1989 makes sense. Now, just bringing out the left-hand shoe over here, the off-white tag, the zip tie tag, at least, is down in that same off-white creamy color. Uh, it's a really nice touch to have that just from a tonal point of view. It looks really, really good. The hang tag is also done in that same color. That's also really, really nice. Uh, this is just the Buy My Sneaker, um, I don't know what that is. This is just the buy my sneaker ad that they've just attached to the shoe. Just, I think might be an authenticity thing maybe. No, just an ad thing uh, that they have on their particular shoes when they sell them. Uh, other than that, yeah, that is pretty much the shoe. I wanna show you some of the accessories that come with the box. We haven't spoken about the laces yet. However, they are the standard off-white laces, um, which just have the shoelaces in quotation marks. Uh, these are obviously that total off-white creamy color. However, they do provide you with three other sets of laces. Uh, so you've got a white set of laces over here, then that same sort of minty green set, which matches up with the coloring on the outsole of the shoe, and then just a black set as well uh, with the white quotation marks on it uh, if you wanted to just add a little bit of darkness onto the top of the shoe there i guess and bring out the other little black attributes but overall i think i would be probably keeping them either with the white lace uh, or this sort of uh, creamy lace on here perhaps if you did want a third color on it you could put the mint green ones in i think either option you go with from a lace perspective are all going to look pretty banging on this pair and then last but not least uh this is also just a buy my sneaker like thank you card for purchasing uh even though i didn't purchase them <laughs> yet but uh, just to show you the paper inside here, it's that sort of clear plastic paper with the Jumpman logo and the off-white step and repeat 2013 logo on. The box is pretty cool. Uh, we saw this, I think, with the off-white Jordan 5s as well. Uh, it's kind of like the standard box. However, he's just recreated it by basically drilling out uh, a whole bunch of these little mouse holes in it. Uh, and then they have obviously added sort of uh, this perspex or I guess just clear plastic to seal that up. Some of those boxes that came out, I think it was like the Zoom Terra Tiger 5 and like all of those kind of things. They didn't have the plastic there and things were kind of poking out like the this thing sticking out of it, causing some issues. I don't know, maybe that's why they did it. But overall, that is my review of the Off-White Jordan 4 uh, women's release. As mentioned, it's definitely a shoe that I do want in my collection. I think they just they're actually just so good from a material perspective. I think they're gonna look really good on foot, at least from the photos I've seen. I guess it's really just the price that these things are going for right now, which is a big hindrance, obviously. Uh, it's a hell of a lot of money to spend on a pair of shoes. As usual, you know, normally, like even like two years ago, you kind of be like anything over a thousand dollars was like super grail material. And now like just about every release uh, that comes out, at least from Nike side, whether it's Dunks or Jordan 4s or Jordan 1s or whatever, they just they just shoot over a thousand like within a week and it's just i don't know it's crazy how things are right now but i guess that's just the way things are right now in the world so if you do want them you're gonna have to unfortunately pay a lot of money for them or maybe get rid of some shoes to be able to buy them but if you do want to get a pair uh, obviously uh, these came from buy my sneaker a uh, huge shout out to you guys again for sending these down for us to take a look at today uh, you can download the app there are a couple of different sizes apparently available on that uh, where you can purchase 100 percent authentic items of course uh, from a size perspective, I don't actually know how these size uh, as these are way too small for me to even give you an accurate description on that. However, from what I've read and seen online, uh, your standard Air Jordan 4 size should suffice for this. If you don't know what that is, you can always try on a normal general lease pair of Jordan 4s in store uh, or borrow friends or whatever. You know the drill uh, to get your size from there. But that is it for my review of these beautiful Air Jordan Off-White 4s. Uh, if you guys do have any further questions, please feel free to drop them in the comment section below and I'll do my best to get back to you as soon as possible. And if you haven't already, please give the video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe right here for more content, vlogs and unboxings down the line. But that is it from me for today guys i'll catch you on the next one